My name is Fionn McGillicuddy. I'm a camera man and Jimmy Jib operator from Unrying in County Waterford in Ireland. I've been doing this job now for over 20 years and it has taken me uh, to many different uh, exciting situations and um, some sad ones too. I come from a very big family and uh, many of them are involved in this industry so um, it's really in our blood. My first ever camera was a present from my mother. It was an old camera she had. I had just finished college and I was at a loose end and it was a Nikon FG20 uh, 35 millimeter stills film camera. I spent quite a lot of time and every penny I had on taking photographs and developing those and from then on I moved on to apply for a place on a training course for TV and production with the Irish National Broadcaster RTE. It grew from there. Each day at work is quite different. It depends on the client, depends on the location, depends on the nature of the work. Um, sometimes we're um, working early in the morning and other times we may be working late at night um, if there are night scenes to be shot. Uh, very often I'm involved in filming concerts and uh, most of that happens at night so therefore you're not in quite as early. So each day is, is very different and it's, it's the variety that makes it interesting. No two days are the same. The style I like to think I have is that I wish to enhance the positive. So therefore, I, I might, my lighting might be quite minimal, um, but I will light the bits that show um, my subject matter in the best light, whether that's a person or a room or a, a scene. Obviously, if you're working outdoors, it's a natural light, but you know, even then, you can still choose the time of day, the type of weather that you're going to film in, you know, how you schedule your shoot, even to shoot in natural light. The way in which my style and technique has evolved, I guess, over the years is that I'm much more minimalist now with um, the amount of shots I take, with the way I light a shot. I will try to give the best representation, uh, the most beautiful representation of what you're about to film. As a camera person, I have to be quite adaptable. I have to be willing to try new things, to be daring. I have to be willing to try things that are not even naturally what I consider to be my own style, because that is the job of a good camera person, is to be adaptable and to be able to collaborate with a director to try and tell the story. The planning of a project, to me, is paramount. I think the work that's done before the shoot ever happens um, can really help to get the best result from the shoot in its entirety and it can also help to keep the budget down. I think my favourite thing to film is music. I play music myself and I really, really enjoy watching somebody in full flow of a musical performance. Having said that, equally as valid is um, an actor giving a great performance or a poet reciting one of their poems or even somebody telling a real story about themselves in a in a very engaging and you know and captivating way even if that's a, a sad story or even a harrowing story but it's still no less valid a story it's the telling of the story that that I love to try to capture in the best most engaging possible way one favourite moment on set, the one that springs to mind immediately was being in the, uh, the Taos Pueblo in New Mexico and meeting the Native American people there um, with uh, Jeremy Irons and uh, the lo some of the local young people performed music for us. And I can just remember being in that scene in the middle of the desert, this beautiful barren landscape and hearing I suppose what is the, the, the heart and soul of the American nation and um, performing there and then for us. I would like to think that the impression my work makes in the most part is, is a positive one and um, that people are entertained or that they benefit in some way from it and um, that it improves their mood or their happiness or um, hopefully their pocket, but I, I, I probably don't envisage that happening. But just once 
people get enjoyment from it. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And uh, sometimes, you know, we get to maybe improve people's lives just, a, just that little bit. That makes a difference to me. I have a Stanton Jimmy Jib triangle, um, which I bought from Arizona in the USA, and that's an absolutely fantastic piece of kit. I use it quite a lot. I, I film a lot of music, and um, I travel quite a lot with that work, and it's universally just probably one of the most brilliant pieces of kit I've ever used, and uh, the most versatile and widely used um, of its kind in the world. Apart from that, cameras, I, there are a wide variety of great cameras out there. I really love the RED uh, cinema cameras. Um, Sony produce a, some great ranges of cameras, um, but you know, there are so many. There are different cameras which are great for different purposes. And uh, so it's hard to nail down one particular favorite um, that, I, that I have, but you know, there are many. What motivation does anybody need to pursue their profession? Do I enjoy my profession? Yes, quite a lot, absolutely. And even in my spare time, you know, I might uh, go and record something that's happening close to me that I feel is a, a momentous event of local significance um, that I feel might need to be recorded. That might be a sports occasion, or it might be um, something historical that won't be repeated again. A tip for any young person starting out would also be to be positive to be honest, to be energetic when possible, but also to stand up for yourself if you're not being treated well. And this can happen in, in any sphere of life and in particular on, on um, film and TV shoots. So it's positivity, energy, um, honesty, and being able to stand up for yourself when necessary and just always giving 100% in terms of the execution of your, of your work of your job, just giving that extra little bit.